Hi, my name is Chris Summerstead and I'm the manager of the Solution Engineering team. In this video, we're going to walk through the process of creating a monitor policy using the Central Monitoring Administration Console. The first step is to open a browser and log into the Central Monitoring Administration Console on your central server. The default username and password is admin admin. If not already there, navigate to the Policies folder in the All section. The policy drawer is where you can create and manage monitor policies for use with the patrol agents installed in your environment. The green plus symbol begins the policy creation wizard. Enter a unique policy name. For this use case, I'm going to create a basic Windows OS policy and just use Windows OS. The precedence value comes into play when multiple policies use the same tag value. If two policies with the same tag have conflicting values, the value with the lower precedence wins. Enter a description of the policy. This will show up in the policy view list. Tags are case sensitive. When a patrol agent connects to an integration service, all monitoring policies matching its tag values will be applied. In this case, I will use WinOS. There are three additional tabs in the policy wizard. The monitor configuration tab, the threshold configuration tab, and the server configuration tab. These tabs are independent and in large deployments policy management would be simplified by creating configuration and threshold policies independent of each other. However, for simplicity, I'm going to combine them into a single policy for this example. Let's start with the monitor configuration tab. In this use case, I'm going to configure a Microsoft Windows Server. Since the Windows Server KM allows for remote monitoring, I can specify the credentials of additional Windows hosts that I'd like to monitor using the remote monitoring type. Since this configuration will be applied to every patrol agent that uses this policy, it is recommended that you create a separate policy for remote monitoring. You can also specify Windows event log, process, or service monitoring. The last option is for default monitoring. Since I am creating a generic policy to apply to all Windows-based patrol agents, I am just going to select default monitoring. Select add and close. The next tab is the Threshold Configuration tab. Select the Add button to create a threshold. Here you can see that the list of monitor types is different from the list of monitor types that we saw under the Monitor Configuration window. In this window, they represent all of the KM application classes, rather than just the application classes that require configuration that we saw under the Monitor Configuration window. Let's look at the Process Monitor type. You'll have to define the scope of the threshold that you're creating. It can be either global and apply to all monitor instances, or instance, which means you'll have to specify an instance name or match a particular device. In this example, we'll use global. Next, we'll have to pick a specific attribute. In this case, we'll create a threshold for the processor time attribute. We'll have three types of thresholds to choose from, absolute, signature, and abnormality. Absolute is equivalent to a hard threshold. Signature utilizes baselines, and abnormality will create informational events. In this case, we'll create absolute. I'll have to specify the severity of the event. And in this case, what we're going to set up is a major event when processor time exceeds 90% utilization for five minutes. Click Add, and now the threshold's been added. The Server Configuration tab provides for global actions to be taken when the policy is activated. These actions are independent of the Monitor and Threshold tabs. Here you have the option to add all monitors running on patrol agents that use this policy to a group or groups. If the group name does not exist, it will be created. Multiple groups can be specified using comma separation, and a forward slash can be used to create group hierarchies. You can also copy baselines from existing devices to the monitor instances running on the patrol agents that use this policy. This is useful if you have a standard device configuration and you want to seed a new device with mature baselines. Add user to groups allows you to add devices that use this policy to an existing user group. User group names are case sensitive and multiple user groups can be listed comma separated. Selecting save will save the policy. At this point the policy is enabled. It will not take effect until the tag is matched for the first time. That concludes this video on creating a patrol monitoring policy with a central monitoring administration console. Please join me for the next video on the installation of a patrol agent package.